Hey guys, in this video I'm going to discuss the words of wisdom, Sam KB is ICT fake, thoughts on SMC video. I watched the whole thing. Uh, he didn't really say anything that I did not already know. And frankly, here's something that y'all need to know. It really doesn't matter uh, if ICT came up with the stuff himself, if he got it from someone else. Um, who cares? I mean, guys, it doesn't matter. Um, I don't care if he says that magic fairies came from from Neptune and delivered him the knowledge. It doesn't matter to me. So let me show you some things that, in my mind, like, here's the thing, right? ICT says that it's one big algorithm, right? But he will also reference high-frequency trading algorithms. I personally think that the truth is probably that it, it is just a, a gestalt, like a lot of high-frequency trading algorithms. But they definitely work off mathematics. Like the market is way too perfect at times that it's not working algorithmically. Whether that's one algorithm, many algorithms, it doesn't really matter. So let me show you some examples of what I'm talking about. Let's go to the NASDAQ and let's talk about measured moves, right? I'm just going to show you time and time again. We take an ICT order block and take a one a one measured move of it. And I'm gonna show you just how many times the market reacts off of off of that. I mean, guys, that's that's literally like that is to the tick. You can't deny that, that those two green candles there, one standard deviation of those lower, the market reacted. Like clearly that is what happened. That was purposeful. I if I if I do the same thing here, look. Do you see how the market reacted perfectly off one standard deviation? Now let me blow your mind further. Two standard deviations was exactly that low. Exactly. It was exactly that low. So to me, that must be some sort of automation. I mean, that that has to be, right? It, it, there's no way that that is human. I could show you so many examples of these order blocks and how if you take measured moves you will find that's exactly where you're going to get some sort of a market reaction or it lines up with one of ICT's inefficiencies. Like this one right here was a just above a prior SIBI, right? One standard deviation of that order block took us right up to that uh, sell side imbalance, buy side inefficiency. And I could show you hundreds of examples where if the market were random, there's no way that it's doing that. There's no, like, there's no way. And I could show you so many examples of measured moves that are crazy wild accurate it's just crazy like look there's that black candle right there two standard deviations is exactly one tick off it's exactly that high does that look random to you like it doesn't look random to me it, it looks like something is referencing that black candle to say take us to that high <laughs> here here's your signature take us to that high how many examples do I need to show? Like, it's uh, it's crazy. I mean, yeah. So it went past one standard deviation here. One to standard deviation took you to that liquidity there. I mean, I don't know, guys. Like, there's clearly mathematics involved in the marketplace, and whether ICT is a crazy person for saying it or crazy man, I don't matter to me. Uh, doesn't matter to me at all. Um, there's clearly some sort of mathematics happening here. Guys, how many examples do I have to show you where, look, that's one tick off. That's like one point off. One standard deviation. That's where the market reacted. So clearly, there's some sort of mathematics that are at play in the market. So, ICT's concepts, whether he's a crazy man himself or not, I don't know. There seems to be something about it that, that seems to have some predictive value. Uh, so you can call me a crazy person for thinking that. I mean, how many examples do I have to show you where a standard deviation move off of an order block, the mark, that's either an old high or low, it's an inefficiency, or the market literally act, reacted right there? I mean, how many examples do you need before you think, yeah, there's definitely some sort of mathematics like happening here? There's some sort of ratios. There's something happening here. Okay? I mean...
I'll tell you where it doesn't happen, where where the market gets kind of funky. Economic releases. That's where you can see some funky things. But even then, oftentimes it'll be you'll find that it's it's mathematically it's too perfect, guys. Like these measured moves are look. Half standard deviation took you. Look at where the market reacted. So, let me see. That played out. I don't. I don't know, guys. I don't know. I really don't. Does that look kind of perfect to you? That the 8:30 release candle, and then they mirrored it exactly one standard deviation higher. Like not kind of. Not like kind of one standard deviation higher. Like exactly that candle mirrored twice. An hour, twenty, an hour later. Does that look random to you? I don't know. I mean, guys, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. But I know what I'm sticking with, and there clearly appears to be some sort of uh, mathematics that are at play in the marketplace, guys. And you'll find it if you start looking at what's, you know, start looking at the order blocks, guys. Take one standard deviation. Where does that one standard deviation, that one measured move, take you? And if you're like, damn, the market reacted right off that. I don't know. I don't know. Does it matter to me whether ICT came up with it himself or not, really? The Lord knows. No, it does not. No, it does not. I think that he did. I think that these are concepts that he authored, and I'm going to pay homage and respect to him because I believe that he did. But does it matter? Like, doesn't it appear to you that these order blocks are kind of in some way, in some manner of speaking, when they form that one standard deviation higher, I don't know guys, kind of appears like there's some sort of mathematics in the market that says take us up this amount <laughs> and it's pretty damn accurate all the time guys. I, I'm pulling these at random and you will see, oh look there the market reacted again. Let's just take exactly that black candle right there. There was an inefficiency formed right after that one standard deviation. I don't know, guys. You can take these order blocks and you can take these measured moves all day long, and you will see that more often than not, the market, one standard deviation higher, is reacting. Okay? You can look at his fair value gaps, and you will find that, lo and behold, the market is reacting. Okay? It doesn't mean that you're always going to make money on every trade, whatever. Not, no, but I don't know. I don't know. I watched the interview. Uh, it wasn't anything that I had not heard before. Um, so just to get back to it, go watch it yourself. This guy seems intelligent enough to me. Doesn't seem like he's even really attacking ICT. Um, I don't care what ICT's past is from 2016, 2017. I know that men can change if you find the Lord and if you and if you work on yourself. So it doesn't make a difference to me. Why would it? Um, it's either you're either seeing it work in the marketplace or you are not. And if you really believe that there's no sort of mathematics happening in the marketplace, I challenge you to put one standard deviation on these order blocks over and over and over again, and you will see, oh, that kind of appears to be doing something there. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So, I don't know, guys. You, you need to make up your own mind. Um, that's kind of my reaction to this interview. Nothing that I haven't heard before. Uh, I'm going to continue to to follow ICT. And if one day it comes out and it's like, all of his stuff was, he came up, he didn't come up with any of it. Do I care? No. I think he did come up with it. But even if he didn't, do I care? No. So this guy doesn't seem too stupid to me, but he doesn't seem to have really anything that, like, he mentioned Vinny E. Mini. Vinny E. Mini is the biggest friggin' redneck hack I've ever heard in my life. So if Vinny is his source of authority, then, yeah, that you can you, you can imagine what I think about Vinny. This guy seems a little bit smarter, a little bit cleaner cut, but in any event, doesn't make no difference to me, so bye.